I'm building a drift trike. Yes, that's right, it's happening. I've wanted one of these things for absolutely ages. But because of the direction the channel's moved in and the new equipment we've now got, I can actually build one. This thing is going to be absolutely awesome. So I'm watching a few people online. I've been really inspired by the way they've been made, how they perform afterwards. So it's made me do this next series of videos. So I hope this is going to be the best drift trike build video you guys have ever seen because it's going to be hopefully so in depth that anyone after watching this video can go out there and just make one of these things. So smash that thumbs up button and please subscribe. So to begin with we're going to have to chop this BMX frame up. All we want from this BMX frame is the handlebars, the forks, the sort of stem bit in the frame, the down tube and then the round bit where the cranks go through. All the rest we need to get rid of. So that means we're going to be cutting the frame here, here and back here. Removing everything else like the cranks, the pedals, the sprocket, all that will be gone. So all we'll be left with is this part and this part. That is going to be the basis of our drift trike. That's what you're going to be steering when you're going down the road, drifting along. frame no longer really looks like a BMX anymore. There's not much left to it and that is exactly what you need for the drift trike. So just a few key pointers. Once you've cut off the chainstay and seat post just let you go over that with a grinder get all that smooth because you're going you're to be welding some bar on there later on so you need that to be fairly smooth and fairly clean. Also what I'm going to do I've tried cutting the top bar to sort of match the angle of the down tube. That will look cool because once I'm done, I'm going to weld a plate over that hole and that should all sort of like seam into one. So that should be good. Right, just another little key point I didn't say at the beginning of the video. To do this, it makes it so, so much easier if you do it with a steel BMX frame, like most BMX frames are. But just be careful when you're sorting your BMX frame that it's not like an aluminium or chrome alloy frame. Make sure it's just old school steel. So the next thing we need to do now we've got our BMX frame is we need to basically attach on the rear end. So the rear end is going to come back. It's going to have your frame where your bearings and your axles are going to sit. But it's also going to accommodate the uh, engine. So it's going to have to be long enough that the engine sits in there nicely but also you don't want it too long or it's going to start to look a bit silly. So this is going to be a bit of like sitting it on the ground, playing around, see where the engine fits, see where the wheels fit. And yeah, just go from there really. The back axle setup. So this is essentially what the bearings and axle are going to sit on. So it needs to be fairly strong this part. So I've got some 2v1 box section for the whips. That is running at 40 centimetres. And for the actual side plates, which the bearings are going to hold on, I've got some 6mm plate, which is 3 inches wide and 26 centimetres long. And I've added a nice little chamfer. So, to make these, it's really simple. The box section, that is literally measure out what length you need, square it all up and cut it. But... For the plates that the bearings sit on, 
that's a little bit more complicated. So the way I've done it, I held it up to my axle where it sat on the floor and sort of got like a center line for the axle, how high off the ground I want this thing to sit. I then marked the center line, went back to the bench, placed the bearing onto the mild steel plate and almost drew round the two hole, bolt holes and where the axle was going to go. Then, once I'd done that, all was left to do was to drill it out. So I drilled out with a pilot hole, all the holes I needed, then went back through and drilled them all out to the right size. But I wanted a nice little slit in the back of the plate. That way you could literally unbolt the axle and just slide it out the back if you need to. So I cut a slit out so it's easily accessible. And then like I just said, I added some nice little chamfers. Oh, chamfer, nice. And yeah, that's it. That is the back axle set up. So all I've got to do now is weld all that up, see how rigid it is, and then offer it up and see what length we need for the main beam assembly. drift truck now so I've dry fitted the axle bearings wheels hubs etc into the carriage I've just made and I've sort of offered it up to the front end of the BMX and the engine just to get a rough idea of this center bar that we're going to need so I'm thinking 50 centimeters 50 centimeters is a good distance and um, looks like everything will fit in reasonably well just a few key pointers here just to make your life really easy. So what I've done, I've measured my axle, which I can't remember what it was, 997 centimetres, something like that. And I've marked the centre line in the axle. I've also marked the centre line in the lower, the lower bar of the carriage. That way we can keep everything absolutely straight because you don't want this thing going down the road wonky, even though you will be going wonky because you're gonna be drifting uh-huh so yeah the next thing i need to do is literally just cut that bar weld it here weld it there and we'll sort of have something that will resemble a drift trike <laughs> The centre bar is all welded on now, got that on there pretty straight, not going to lie. And I've also, I did go with this reinforcing plate at the bottom. I've like chamfered the edges again just to make it look a bit nicer. But I thought while I'm at this position, I might as well put something in there just for extra support. Only literally took 10 minutes, cut the plate down, weld it on. So the last thing to do is literally attach this now to the BMX. I'll go through that because this is a really important stage. You do not want to mess this up. So now what you have to do, you've got to find a bit of wood that you can put under the BMX to raise it off the floor a little bit. So obviously we don't want it on the floor. This centre support here, you want it to be fairly level. So you've sort of got to find a height where the centre section meets the BMX at a fairly level point. So just play around with different bits of wood until you find a bit that suits it. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure the BMX is pretty much like you can, there's no real measurement you can do here it's all done by eye but make sure it looks fairly straight make sure it's not leaning over or twisted and then all we've got to do is buzz it up 
weld it together, and then we should have ourselves a sick trike. There we have it. The drift trike frame is all but built. There's a few little things I'm gonna do before the next video, but it's, it's nothing you guys need to see. It's literally just like welding a plate over the frame where I've cut it out. I might put a reinforcing bar between the straight bit and the BMX frame, but we shall see. But yeah, the frame is all but done. If you've got any questions on this video guys, feel free to drop me a comment. Even if you know it's the simplest things, I don't mind helping you guys out. So thank you for watching this video. In the next one, I'll be putting the engine in, all the running gear, and possibly getting this thing running. But until then, watch my other videos and please subscribe. Wah, 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 wah.